Today I will talk about the cache coherence problem in a multi-computer system. So in a multi-computer system, you generally have one unified memory and multiple processors accessing the same memory. This could have a problem when we want to share data across the two processors. Considering these days we have a memory hierarchy of local caches to ensure that each processor can have good throughput, we need to ensure that the local caches are all having coherent data across different processor caches. This ensures that a write from one processor to its local cache and a following read from another processor from its local cache would actually have the right value because of the coherence protocol that would be ensured across the caches. Let's see a simple protocol called MSI protocol that ensures that such kind of a shared model can be used. The MSI protocol basically ensures that a line on every pro cache, line, uh, cache will have one of the following states, that is a modified state, a shared state, and an invalid state. Let's talk about what each of these states mean and how they move from one state to the other to ensure a coherent protocol. A modified line basically has a, a valid bit as one and a dirty bit as one. The valid bit as one means that the line is present in the cache and a dirty bit as one means that the dirty copy of the line, that is the latest fresh copy of the line is present with this cache only. When the dirty bit is one, it's always only one processor that has this line and nobody else would be having the same line. This ensures that local reads and local writes from this processor can happen seamlessly because it is having the latest copy. However, if there is another line from another processor having an invalid state, which means that the valid bit is zero and it does not possess the line, and it wants to do a local write, it has to ensure it pulls the latest copy of the line from modified state to itself. Now how that is done is, the line basically puts a write on the bus, so that all, this is a kind of broadcast, so that all the other cache lines can see that there's a write to this line, and it moves its line from an invalid to a valid state and a dirty state, because it's got the fresh value. However, all other lines that were in modified state at this time would basically snoop a ride on the bus. Now this triggers a ride back because the invalid line needs to pull the fresh line and not the line that was stale in the memory. This is done by ensuring all the processor in the modified state would move its data back to the memory when it snoops a ride and then the ride would go through which would ensure that this line is now in a valid state and only one line which was which was the one doing the local write gets the valid state which is also dirty similarly if there's a line in valid state and it wants to do a local read this time it can actually just ensure that it is doing read from a shared line how that is done is it basically puts a read on the bus putting a read on the bus and moving itself to a shared line which means that it has got a valid line but the line is not dirty because it, ha it hasn't done a write. This is useful as a shared state only because the line which was in modified state having the dirty copy would basically move itself into a shared state when it snoops this read on the bus. How, it, how that is executed is the write back is done just in the same way as a local write. However, this time it moves itself to a shared state and not an invalid state. And this is because there are multiple lines that can be in a shared state, all of which have no dirty copy and they can have reads done seamlessly. Similarly, if you are in a shared state and you are having local reads that can be done seamlessly and that's because there are multiple co uh, copies of the same line and they're all not dirty. The fresh data is available at this point. However, if there's a write, if it snoops a write on the bus, it has to basically go into an invalid state. That's because there is a fresh one in modified state for the same address and all other copies should be invalidated. Similarly, if you have a local write and the data line was on a shared state, what we will be doing is invalidating all other copies of that cache line and ensuring that this shared line moves to a modified state because it now contains a dirty value. In such, using such a simple protocol of just three different states for every cache line across different caches, we can ensure that a coherent value is maintained across all the cache local caches and every processor is able to get the most updated value in a shared memory system.
This is why we use MSI protocol to solve the cash flow hence problem.